Hey there folks, Dub here, and uh, just got our uh, February Karen box. This is uh, February 14th, Valentine's Day. Uh, just got my door knocked on and the postman delivered it, so we'll get her opened up and see what it is. So, I've been making predictions recently here on uh, what I think might be in the boxes that I've done. All right, I guess I've, I've gotten pretty close, I think. Uh, I'll just say on this one, I feel like we haven't seen anything for fire starting in a while. I don't know, we'll just, we'll just go with that and see if there's anything along those lines. Again, I don't, I try not to see anything online or uh, do any research ahead of time because I like to be surprised uh, myself and also for the videos as well. So we'll see what this one is. Okay, again, the outdoors isn't going to explore itself. We've talked about that, that perhaps maybe it does. Although there's a, uh, another quote in here. Never measure the height of a mountain until you've reached the top. Uh, then you'll see how long it was. Fair enough. All right, so we'll open this one up. And here is our uh, Karen Scout they give us. And uh, there's the whole deal. If you want that, like I said, either get a Karen box or hit me up, uh, you can have it. All right, so first things first, we've got the sticker. Toss that to the side. All right, go macro macro bar. So they're always pretty good about giving us a little food item. So let's see here, uh, this one's called Sunny Uplift. It's uh, cherries and berry, vegan, soy free, non-GMO. Uh, it's an organic and gluten free product. Let's see here, four grams of fat, um, four grams of protein. So I like that, that's a decent ratio, one to one. We'll take that. Uh, so I have to give that a, a whirl and see how it tastes. Most of the stuff here from the can boxes has always been quite tasty. All right. So it looks like I was incorrect. It's not going to be fire starting, but it is going to be uh, life straw. Is what the bag says here. And it's like a uh, bottle cap and some instructions. Here is a filter. Obviously, we'll see if we can figure out how all of that works. So I guess there must be a bottle that this goes with somehow. Let's see if the instructions give us any indication of what happens. So maybe this is something you can add to an already existing bottle. All right, let's here real quick. All right so it's the uh, water bottle filter adapter. So I don't know, I see a little picture down here of somebody putting one in, in a bottle. I don't know if you have to have that specific bottle or if it would work for, you know, like a Nalgene or just a, a, a metal bottle. Um, oh, okay, so it looks like they have like a compatibility um, thing down here. Okay, so there's a little compatibility chart it looks like. And so they've got, uh, let get that in there. It looks like they've got uh, Clean Canteen, Hydro Flask, uh, Camelback, and Nalgene. Okay, all right, awesome. So it would look as if you can put the cap on using this deal, and that comes off, and then you have kind of a sports bottle uh, spout to that one that screws on. Or I'm guessing you've got this kind of a, uh, well, nipple style cap. Oh, okay, is this? All right, so it would appear that would work for either one of those. Do those threads match up? I don't know if they do. Hmm. So that's an interesting little bit. This one is obviously uh, easy to figure out, and that would go into the bottle. So this portion, hmm, I figure what that does. Um, we'll take a look at the instructions. It does show a little picture right here of that particular top going into a bottle. So it must just be top options. Uh, we'll have to figure that out. Okay, figure uh, three and four here. Three. Okay, yeah, so just a wide mouth and a standard mouth is what they're saying. All right, that's easy enough. A little life straw action. I carry one of the life straw, uh, actual straws in my EDC bag. That's a good idea to have some kind of water filtration. All right, off to the side with that. And what's next here? This is a reusable, washable uh, food wrap. This is called Bees Wrap. It's a single, small, uh, sustainable food storage. So... I guess we'll just open it up. See what it looks like in here. Because there is two of them. Alrighty. A little note in here. And it says uh, Bees Wrap Care, hand wash, uh, cool water, uh, hang to dry, reuse for about a year. We do not recommend for using it for meat. Keep it away from the microwave in hot places. Do not cut on. So the ingredients are beeswax, organic cotton, uh, Jojoba or jojoba, I'm not sure how you pronounce that one, oil, and tree resin. So, 
I guess it's just kind of like you ever seen westerns when people take their lunch and kind of wrap it up in like a, some cheesecloth and put it in a pail. I think that's kind of like what this is. So if you have like a an apple or some fruit nuts, you just wrap it up in there is what I'm guessing because there's definitely no uh, like Ziploc portion. It does smell a little bit like honey. Huh, that's interesting. So yeah, it's just basically a cloth wrap that you could cover food with. And they've got one. This one here is the uh, seven inch by eight inch wrap. And then they've also got the larger uh, 13 by 14 wrap. Interesting. I mean, I, I, if you're going to hike and whatnot, you're definitely going to be taking some food with you. Uh, at least you should. So maybe wrapping up is a lot better than leaving little plastic bags on the trail or, or out there or even trying to burn them in the garbage or burn them in the, uh, the fireplace, which is a bad move. All right. So let's wrap it back up. <laughs> Get it? Wrap it back up? All right. Uh, we've got the Bees Wrap uh, wraps right there. We've got the Go Macro uh, Macro Bar which again is the cherries and berries. That should be delicious, hopefully. And there's the whole uh, Life Straw uh, water bottle kit in there. So, all right, cool stuff. Um, interesting with the food wrap. Life Straw is a great product. I'm try that out. I've got a few bottles to see if that'll work with. So, all right, folks, let me know what you think. Uh, have yourself a great Valentine's Day, and uh, I will catch you on the next one. This is Deb signing off.